Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Today we're taking a look at the brand new iOS 26 update for iPhone. Apple has added some exciting features, made some changes to familiar apps, and given the iPhone a fresh new look. If you've just updated or you're thinking about it, stick around. I'll show you the highlights, what's most useful for us seniors, and a few settings you may want to adjust right away. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the new design Apple calls liquid glass. You'll notice things look a little smoother with rounded corners and some see-through menus. It's modern and stylish, but don't worry, if it's harder to read, you can increase text size or turn on bold text to make everything clearer. So let's take a look at this a little bit more closely. If I swipe over to come into the app library, you're going to see that the icons look a little bit different. There's more transparency to them. If I swipe down from the middle of the screen to access my notification center, you're going to see that everything on there is more transparent. But we can change some of this stuff up. If you're having a harder time uh, seeing these things, you can go to the settings app. So I'm going to swipe up. Let's come into the settings app. You're also going to see that Apple changed my circle. I'm using a mouse to do this, and they changed the circle to an actual pointer. I'm going to tap on settings to open it, and you can see the settings app looks a little bit different. I'll tap on it to open it, and then let's come into display and brightness. And you'll see even where the uh, text and bold text is located, it's a little rounder, the edges. I can turn on bold text and you'll see that that changes things up a little bit. If I tap on text size, I can increase the text size and slide it up to a level that's more comfortable for your eyes to read. The phone app has been redesigned to be simpler Recent calls, contacts, and voicemails are easier to find, so you can get to the people you call most without digging around. So let's open the phone app, and you'll see your most recent calls appear directly on the screen. If you want to get to your contacts, you can tap contacts or the keypad. I'm going to come back to calls. Up here in the upper right corner is a menu icon. If I tap on that, you'll see that I can choose classic or I can choose unified. You also have the option to go directly to your missed calls, voicemail, and spam. And then you have an option for managing filtering. In messages, Apple added fun touches like new backgrounds and polls for group chats. But the big help for seniors is better spam and junk filtering. Unknown senders are sorted out more clearly, so you don't have to worry as much about confusing or suspicious texts. So we're inside of the uh, messaging app. Again, I'll tap on the menu in the upper right corner. You'll see that you have messages, spam, recently deleted. If I tap on messages right now, I don't have any. Let me come back to the main messages area area. If I tap into a message and I want to change the background of that message, right now it's set to none. But if I tap on the name of the group or the name of the person, you'll see an option appears for backgrounds. You can select a background. It can be a color. You can go into image playground and create an AI image. But if I just tap on photos and then choose one, kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like. I'll tap on the check mark in the upper right corner. I'll tap back. And now you'll see that that text message has a new background. I'm inside the Photos app, and the Photos app also got a refresh. Instead of scrolling forever to find something, photos are now grouped in a cleaner way. Albums are easier to navigate, and searching for a specific memory like dog, cat, or beach is faster. This is perfect for keeping track of family pictures or old vacation memories without frustration. So as you can see now, your library is right in front of you 
And then if I want to get into the collections area, if I tap on that, now I can come into that collection area where I can see all of the other features that the Photos app has. One of the most practical updates for seniors is adaptive power mode. This automatically dials back performance if your battery is running low, so your iPhone lasts longer between charges. If you've ever been out and seen the dreaded red low battery icon, this is going to help. You can still use low power mode anytime, but adaptive power gives you a little extra cushion without you having to even think about it. So we'll open the settings app. We'll come into battery and we're going to come into power mode. So let me scroll down. We're going to come into power mode and you'll see adaptive power at the top. Just toggle that switch on. And then if you want to receive notifications about it, you'll go ahead and toggle that on as well. And this just gives you a little extra cushion of battery without ever having to think about it. Apple also added more accessibility features. These tools are designed to help with vision, hearing, or even just simplifying how the phone works. For example, you can use the magnifier now to zoom in on small print, live speech if you'd rather type and have your phone read or speak to you, or you can adjust color filters for better contrast. Take a few minutes to come into the accessibility. So I'm already in the settings app. Tap on accessibility and then go through and you'll find options that can really make daily use easier. Apple Intelligence brings smarter features to your iPhone. For example, you can translate conversations live right on a call or in text. So if you're traveling or talking with someone who speaks another language, your phone can help bridge the gap instantly. So if I open the text messaging app, I put in a uh, message in Spanish. If I just push and hold on that message, tap on translate, it automatically translates that for me. I can even tap on this little play button to listen to it. Not every iPhone supports all of these features. You'll need one of the newer models but it's worth checking what's available on your device. A quick note, when Apple redesigns apps, things may look or feel different. Don't be surprised if buttons are in new spots. Give yourself a little time to get used to it. Also, if the new transparent design feels too bright, try turning on dark mode or, or using increased contrast in accessibility settings. That way your screen is comfortable for your eyes. So I'm on the main screen. If I push and hold on it and I tap edit in the upper left corner and I tap on customize, you'll see the option comes up. This is the default setting that I have right now, but I could turn on dark mode and that changes the look a little bit and may make it easier for you to see. Here's what clear looks like, tinted, and here you can adjust the colors. So you can change the color of the tinting by dragging this little slider around. In this way, you can make the screen comfortable for your eyes. So that's a quick tour of iOS 26. From the fresh new design to easier calling and messaging, smarter photos, better battery life, and handy accessibility features. In the coming weeks, I'll be diving deeper into these updates. So if you'd like a step-by-step -step look at things like customizing the new phone app, getting the most out of adaptive power, or exploring Apple intelligence, make sure to stick around. And if you'd like a step-by-step -step PDF guide showing exactly how to adjust the text size, turn on dark mode, and customize these features for seniors, you'll find a link in the description below to sign up for my free weekly newsletter. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.